Hello, I'm Gemma and Senyat. Welcome back to my Crafty Sew and Sew series. Now this week I'm going to be teaching you how to take some old bedding and refashion it into a pretty wall hanging. Now the bedding I'm showing you today isn't my old bedding. Um, I found it in a charity shop. But obviously if you're going to do that, just put it on a really high setting. If it's cotton, wash it at 60 or even as high as it'll go and that will kill anything that's in the bedding. With this particular bedding, you've got Winnie the Pooh on one side. You've got a really large design on the top side and on the underside, you've got lots of various little Winnie the Poohs and that's what I'm going to use for my wall hanging. And this is where it comes into play, the size of embroidery hoop that you're going to use. I'm using a six inch specifically because it completely encapsulates the design. You can see it doesn't actually get anything else in, it's purely just one spot of that design. When you've got the part that you're going to use, take that embroidery hoop and in fact separate them, take the smaller hoop and draw just very generally about centimetre and a half or an inch away from that embroidery hoop. As you can see, it's really rough what I'm doing, but this isn't going to be seen anyway. When you've done that, take your scissors and cut it out. So you're now left with the basis of what's going to be the main focus of the wall hanging. So take your embroidery hoop, placing this over the smaller of the two hoops. And you can do that by feeling for within the hoop area. Place the other hoop on top. In fact, I'm going to put it just off kilter so it's on the side and press it down. That will happen really, really easily. And what you'll find around the back is that there is excess fabric. It's up to you what you do with that. Again, I like to pretty off and just stick it down. You can use PVA glue, craft glue. I like to use glue dots just because they're really easy, straightforward to use. Now what might happen is that you've got other design elements that you don't want in there. All you do is ease the fabric through from the other side and make sure that it's tight and that it's disappeared. And then tighten up the embroidery hoop at the top. Now you're going to pretty it up. How to do that? Well, again, it's up to you what you do. But with this, for me personally, because the bees are so small, I'm going to take some gold thread and I'm going to sew just the bees, I think just their wings, actually. Now, it's up to you how far you go. You might want to put, I don't know, red satin on an area. You might want to accentuate the nose of the character, whatever it might be. I've stopped at this point. You can see I've also added a ribbon at the top. I've cut it with pinking shears just to give it that frayed edge. And that's it. It's ready to go. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, and remember you can subscribe to the channel. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and hopefully you'll join me next week when I'll be taking an old hardback book and creating a secret.